Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Bitcoin wallets and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on one of my other videos and that is how do you get a Bitcoin wallet? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to get a Bitcoin wallet anyway? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business like I am, you know, a lot of your customers decide they would prefer to pay you through Bitcoin. So they need your Bitcoin wallet address. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. And there's actually a lot of different options. Check my video description. I'll try to leave more information there. So if one of your customers are requesting to send you Bitcoin, they need your wallet address. So your wallet address is going to be kind of like a bank account. It's not necessarily like a wallet. It's going to be a destination where they're going to send their Bitcoin to your address. So there's a lot of different service providers. So I pulled up four of some of the most popular Bitcoin wallet service providers right now. There's Coinbase, there's Crypto.com, there's Binance, and there's Gemini. And there's just, there's actually a whole, whole bunch of these that are available. These are just some of the more popular ones. And to set up an account, it's generally free. You don't need to pay anything. And then once you set up an account, then you would be able to get a Bitcoin wallet address. So inside each one of these accounts that you decide to open up, you can open up Coinbase, you can open up with Crypto.com, any one of these. And once you open it up, then you're going to be able to accept Bitcoin at your specific wallet address. It's a long string of alphanumeric, and that identifies your specific wallet. So that way, when someone sends Bitcoin to that address, it's going to be held inside of your account. And also when you sign up for these services, you don't necessarily need to receive just Bitcoin. There's a lot of different cryptocurrencies or currencies that you can accept. So you're going to get an Ethereum wallet address. You're also going to receive a Litecoin wallet address. So your customers can pay you directly into those wallets. So generally when you're signing up, you do need to provide your information, especially if you're in the United States. So you're going to need to provide your name, your social security number, your address, because we have this thing called KYC, know your customer. I'm not sure if it's the same in different countries, but in the United States, it's highly regulated. So they need to know all the information about you, just like your bank account. Now, so there are some wallets that you can go ahead and sign up for, and you just need an email address and your name, and then you can start to receive Bitcoin. But just note that if you're going to start withdrawing money or you want to go ahead and add funds into your Bitcoin wallet, at some point in the future, they are probably going to ask for a copy of your ID, your social security number, all of that information. So it's generally pretty easy to sign up, but if you want to start withdrawing money, they're going to need to get your tax information. So once you've already signed up for one of these accounts, you can go in and get your Bitcoin wallet address. So let me go ahead and log into one of my accounts. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and logged into my Binance. You can see I just have a little bit of Bitcoin here. Now, in order to get your wallet address, the process is going to be a little bit different, but similar throughout all of the different options. So if you signed up for Coinbase or Crypto.com or Gemini, it's going to be basically the same. You need to go to your wallet right here on the top. Okay, once you do that, you're going to go here to deposit because for a deposit, that means someone else is going to be depositing their Bitcoin into your Bitcoin wallet address. So let me click here. Okay, so here are all of the different types of currencies that you can receive on Binance. So the currency is going to change depending on which one of these options you sign up for. Binance has a huge amount of currencies, but today we're talking about getting a Bitcoin wallet. So we're just going to type in Bitcoin or BTC. It's going to be this orange logo right here. These two are different. Actually, all three of them are considered Bitcoin, but they're different kinds of Bitcoin. So for example, in Mexico, they use pesos, but in Colombia, they also use pesos, but it's a different type of peso. Same thing. This is Bitcoin. All three of them are Bitcoin, but they're different types of Bitcoin. Usually when people reference Bitcoin, they're talking about this one right here, BTC. It's the orange logo. So I'm going to click on that one. Okay. So once you click there, it's going to show your Bitcoin wallet address. So as you can see, it's a long string of alphanumeric and you never want to write this thing down because if you get one digit wrong, it's possible that they're going to end up sending your Bitcoin to someone else. And the chances of getting that recovered are next to nothing. So always use this little copy button right here. And that way it copies directly onto your clipboard, or they can go ahead and scan this QR code version of your Bitcoin. And that's basically all you're going to need if someone's going to be sending you Bitcoin. So if somebody asks you for a Bitcoin wallet address to recap, you need to create an account on one of the exchanges. Once you've created the account, you need to go into your account and search for BTC or Bitcoin. Once you've done that, you want to notate that you want to deposit or receive Bitcoin. Once you've done that, then it should show you your Bitcoin wallet address right here. Now, the Bitcoin wallet address is not generally something that's going to be changed. It's going to stay consistent. So you want to go ahead and use that over and over again. So if you have one client that's going to be sending you Bitcoin, you can give them that address and then each client from there on out. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to create or make a Bitcoin wallet address, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.